You know, with all of the technical preparation that goes into playing the Super Bowl now over, many of the players in tonight's game will finally have a chance to relax. Yeah, but leading up to the big sporting event like the one tonight, some athletes will do uh, just about anything to get an edge. WECT's Colin Hackman has more in this special report that is new at 11. In the world of elite sports, not only have some of the best in the game made their sex life public knowledge, they've sworn by the results. I'm a bad man. Muhammad Ali was reported to hold off for six months or more training for a fight. Tim Tebow has claimed to never have had it. While others score every time they get the ball. Quick as you can, left, right, left, right, left, It was right. entrenched as a kid that it's bad for you. David Irving, coach of the Wilmington Hammerhead soccer team, abstained from sex the night before matches for his 20-year playing career. But he's not alone in holding out. Krista Imarino, Olympic marathon trials runner, makes husband John wait up to two weeks before big events. He's definitely glad when my main event's over. Do you think that it would matter? I don't think so. Does your wife think it matters? Yes. I guess it works for them guys, but I don't know if it'd work for other people. I don't think it'd work for me. I wouldn't like that. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> said it or not, pro soccer player Gareth Evans brings up an interesting question that every athlete has probably asked themselves. Does uh, resting before the game make a difference? Simply put, no. Dr. George Figueroa studies and teaches human sexuality at UNCW. There really isn't any evidence that certainly at a physiological level that there's any connection, that there's any detrimental effect of sexual activity in its own right uh, and, and athletic performance. In fact, he says, if anything, it may be the other way around. Will Chamberlain had a significant record of sexual conquest and beat an equal number of other records as well. The NBA Hall of Famer claimed to have had sex with 20,000 women. Further evidence, Marv Levy, coach of the Buffalo Bills, he didn't have a sex policy during the regular season, but he did have a policy of no sex before the Super Bowl, an event the Bills lost four straight years. I guess you can't always score. In fact, a recent study by the Clinical Journal of Sports Medicine suggests that knocking it through the uprights actually adds to relaxation and self-confidence. Both psychological, not necessarily physiological improvements, but improvements nonetheless. But it would figure, since I've been abstaining, and then it's, the other way is the way to go. As much as you can, it's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if the opportunity arises for a lot of guys, I don't think they'd turn it down. Irving thinks that's the real problem. It's the chase, you know, and that's, that's, what, that's what probably wears them out more than the killing, you know? He thinks sex, in fact, or lack of it, might be to blame for one of the biggest hiccups in sports history. I think we've got a great example of mojo, whatever you want to call it. He had it and he lost it. Who am I talking Tiger about? Woods. Tiger Woods. He beat everybody in sight, and all of a sudden now he can't beat eggs, you know? Perhaps just like Levy's Bills. And with so much on the line in competitive sports, most athletes might be willing to try to see if warming up matters at all. Maybe I should try, you know, one way or the other, you know, and kind of see if there's a difference. A difference in training techniques, sure to make some at least excited for the next competition. In Wilmington, Colin Hackman. WECT News. The Giants yeah, have been doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Patriots wonder what they've been doing. Uh, Should we just walk away from this? Uh, clouds and sunshine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a little bit of everything today and in this newscast. Uh, first alert <laughs> meteorologist Eric Davis has the forecast after the break.